Why, hello there, Camera B. I did not see you there. So this is my January art snacks box that came a little late, but I'm kind of excited about it. Oh, oh no. Well, I need an eraser, that's good. And some uh, popsicle. Yee, I'm gonna eat that up. As soon as I get this open. Mmm, delicious. This is what I was worried about. Pastels. Oh, I am no good with pastels, but we're gonna see what I can make with them. So apparently these pastels are supposed to be highly pigmented, and, well, I can't really compare them with any other pastels because I just don't use pastels. Interesting choice of colors, though. And what's inside here? Every time I get it on the wrong side. <gasps> ah, sorry, got too excited there. It's a pencil, a mechanical pencil? Oh, what's with the nib? Well, the nib is all square. I've never used a square nib before, except for a carpenter pencil, but this is a mechanical one. Ooh, it's a thick boy. I haven't had a micron thick boy. Yep, pretty thick. And of course, a sticker. It's a nice tie-dye looking thing. And let's get started. So let's see about swatching some of these things. I think I'll do the pastels last. I'm kind of excited about this pencil. stands for Zebra. Zebra is a good brand. I like them as a pen and pencil brand. I like to shop around on jet pens and get a lot of interesting stuff. This is a 2B pen so it's kind of soft but not too soft. dark mark with it. I like that. I like a good variety. I'm mostly trying to test out the side and if I can get nice variations similar to like a clicker pen. Ooh, I like these dots. A little wiggle. Yee, wiggles. I'm really excited about trying out this Micron pen. What? <gasps> it's gray. How did I not notice this before? I mean, like, it was right there in front of me and everything. Oh, I love me a good gray pen. I want to see how dark I can make this pen get by layering it. Probably not too dark. I might be messing up the paper. Dots. I don't actually stipple or anything like that. Pretty much just lines and color and things. Don't mind the sound in the background, that would be my birds. I have four parrots. Now let's try out these pastels. I almost call them chalk. They feel a little chalky. White? Yeah. Well, it's a more like an off-white. Kinda has a bluish tint to it. Ugh. I hate the sensation of pastels and wiping them down. I'm having a hard time getting a very, very light color. 
dark sand. Maybe I should have read the colors on the side. Eh. Readings for chumps. I like this bluish charcoal black here. Yes. This would be good for outlining. Or shadows. I'm also really digging this blue. I'm like, these are good colors. It's just not a medium I'm really used to. Now this nice, bright, Florida sky blue. I call it Florida sky blue because here in Florida, the sky does actually get that blue. At least towards sun. Oh gosh. Look at this mess. I am not a fan of this. Maybe I can use it? Ooh. Oh no. That, that is not quite working out very well. I am not liking this sensation. I maybe I can use this. Does this actually work in pastels? Let's find out. Well, I'm having difficulty with this thing. All right. It works like a regular kneaded eraser. Does not erase pen. Ooh, is that working? Oh, that is kind of working. Working kind of well. Now I could use this in my drawing or whatever I decide to do with this. Ugh. Well, let's go to Pinterest and see what's going on there. I've been looking at inspiration for seascape paintings and kind of like a bohemian seascape beach thing going on, mostly because I got a commission from a family friend who is redecorating his house or his new place, and he asked me to make some decor. So I picked out some images that I thought that were a lot of fun or pretty interesting. I don't do beach paintings or seascape or shells. and I usually just avoid them because it's just so saturated here in Florida. You can just like trip on them here. And I guess growing up uh, having to just be flooded with beach paintings and drawings. It's kind of make me, well, it's kind of made me a little bit resistant. Well, uh, that's saying it rather nicely. It turned me into like absolutely hating it, but I've been really liking this assignment because it's out of my comfort zone. Well, I'm kind of in an artistic rut at the moment. I'm doing these YouTube videos as a way to help motivate me and give myself something novel or new to do. And I don't, I don't expect to make a whole lot of money off of them. I just hope that I can find some people that like my work. And maybe you might like my work, and if you do, that that's always appreciated. Thank you. So I'm drawing this scallop shell, mostly to practice drawing a scallop, scallop shell. Sorry, I tend to stutter and stammer and trip over my words. And I haven't quite figured out how to do voiceovers where I can edit that stuff out. Well. I'm working on this scallop shell, and it's kind of fun. It's interesting with how you have like these undulating shapes. I like to always draw from references first, and I mostly try to get down the shapes and patterns because that's what I'm drawn to are shapes and intricate patterns. 
looking to see if I can shade in some of this area here. I really don't expect to be able to get this sort of detail with the pastels. But I'm gonna try. Let's, let's try a different color, like this nice bright blue color. Uh, it's not looking too bad, but it's not going in the direction I'm looking for. Oh boy, I think I just might have made this worse. And I realize that I'm kind of shaking my camera a bit. Sorry about that if I'm giving anyone a headache. Ugh. Yeah. Take that, pastels. That's what I think of you. Oh no! Demonetize! Whatever. I'm not gonna monetize my video. Oh. I am not being paid to do this by anyone. I am not funded by anyone. And I think that's how I want to keep that. Yeah. Promotion free. I'm sure you hate the commercials and as do I, so I'll see if there's a way I can avoid that. So you can just sit back and enjoy someone making art. And I can basically share my own thoughts and all that without having to worry about monetization and all that, all that jazz. So I'm trying to do like this scalloped layered pattern. Oh no, my camera died. I didn't realize it by the time I switched over to this nice craft paper. But I decided to go with a diagonal composition with some sand dollars and waves. I'm probably not going to turn this into a larger painting. Unless I figure out a way to make it more patterned and more boho look. I'm just really trying to muscle through this. And it's very, very easy to tell. I'm hoping that Coquina in the corner doesn't like fade away too much. I like coquinas. If I had to pick a favorite shell or clam or whatever, it'd be coquinas. They're nice, they're really tiny and colorful, and when you go to the beach, you can just stick your feet like right underneath the sand, and when the waves come in, you can actually feel them like try to dig through the sand, and it kind of tickles. It's a really fun sensation. Probably terrifying to everyone else though. Enjoying like the bright colors of these pastels though. I probably won't use the eraser because I might just go for a kind of flat look or saturated look of color and maybe patterns. Oh no, the coquinas are faded in more. I, maybe if I can add another one right over here. it up a bit. No, nope, doesn't seem to be working, but it works really well for these waves. I'm basically trying to use the pastels the same way as I use my acrylic paints. I tend to do what you shouldn't and mix the paint on top of the painting. 
them was as if they were oils. Which is weird, because I don't use oils. Well, I can't use oils. I have birds, and oils tend to need turpentine. And oh my gosh. I am getting messy, and I am hating this sensation. This is doing psychic damage per round on me. Yeah, I'm starting to dig like these little sea rocks here. Too bad I can't like put the detail that's like all the tiny holes that you find inside them. It's just not possible with these pastels. Maybe have another one. Another rock. After I shade the sand dollar a little more. I like to have balance in my compositions. Sometimes it just feels like I need something else. And I just add things. Sand is oh, it's missing its little star in the middle. Duh. Sand duller. I am never apologizing for bad jokes. There we go. Ah. Now we're cooking with oil. the darks and lights a little more. That should make the coquinas show a little more. Oh, I think that's done. Like it, but I don't hate it too much. So it's gonna sit right here amongst my other drawings and paintings. I might as well just cover my entire window here. Well, thank you for watching, and if you like to see more, just like and subscribe or whatever. Bye!